Right, so in videos 1146 and 1147, we built a quad bike. Now we've come to the fun bit, and that's putting in the motor. The motor I've got is this thing. It's a 500 watt motor, 12 volts, and I got it from eBay for 20 pounds. And it's actually one of the main inspirations because that is a cheap motor, hey? Luke used it on his uh, e-scooter. Uh, actually, I bought two. He used the other one. This is the second one. Uh, and really, I've been wanting to do something with it for ages. And it was when I was in the store and saw how cheap those bikes were. They kind of put two and two together, hey? So we've got our motor. We've got a throttle that we're going to put for speed control. Speed controller. And I've got some batteries. Now, these are high quick batteries. Uh, they were sent to me by the company, actually, and I put them together in a pack, or two packs, in video 999. So I've got two 12-volt packs, so that'll make my 24 volts. So I've got my batteries, my motor, my throttle, and my motor controller. That's all I need to motorise the quad. So this thing is finished. I mean, it didn't take long, about a day, day and a half. If I lift the seat off, that's where the motor and batteries are going to go, right there. So clearly I need to put a shelf in. But the whole build is actually done, and it was inspired by these kids' bikes. Now, the real, if I say so myself, bit of genius is this bit of pipe here. I just ran that bit of pipe between where the crank was and where the crank was, welded them together, and I suddenly had myself a stable square frame, which I thought was just awesome. All the other bits I'm using again. We've covered all the detail bits on the steering of the real axle in 1147. If I were to do this again, and believe you me, I'm thinking of doing this again, what I would do is I'd use a girl's bike. Because this kid's bike has the frame at the top there and we have to clamber in. The girl's bike would give us more room, and that comes down to the bottom here instead of having a crossbar like in a man's bike. So I'm seriously thinking this could be done again in a girl's bike. But we'll finish this and see how this one goes. So what I have to do now is put a shelf in here and get my motor and electronics and battery in. So that's it all in place and wired together. There's the motor on the chain drive going to that back sprocket. There's my 24 volt battery pack right there. Controllers right here and of course I put the throttle on. But the only interesting thing here is this reversing switch, to be honest. It goes between the controller and the motor. The controller feeds out a constant positive and negative and this reversing switch just switches the polarity. There's a positive in and negative in and when it's in one position this positive out, negative out, other position, negative out, positive out, and centre position, absolutely nothing, which is kind of cool. So the moment it's in centre position, and if I twist the throttle, nothing happens. If I put it into the other position, there we go, we get a forward, and then there, and we get a reverse. So that's kind of cool, obviously, in something like this. Um, and it's the only difference you'll find to wiring up any of these because they're basically plug and play to be honest Okay, so the only thing left to do really is put the seat back on and take it for a spin in the car park Okay, to be honest, that was super awesome. It's hilarious. We should get about 10 to 15 miles an hour out of this, which doesn't sound fast, but to be honest, when you're sitting on it, it feels great. Now, those little batteries got in here aren't going to last very long. What I'd like to do is get some heavier duty batteries, but obviously this is a bit of a prototype, and I'm thinking of putting a well in there so I can sit the batteries right there and still be able to sit in it. I'd also like to extend it. And I'd also like to get rid of this crossbar to make it easier to get in and out of. All of those things make me think that this is really a prototype. It's worked brilliantly. I love it, actually. And it's a real head turner. Loads of people have been going, what's that? What's that? And having a look as we've been driving along in it. But I did think I might give a go at making this out of bamboo. Not 100% sure, but we'll have to see how that one goes. Anyway, there is our quad bike made from two kids' bikes and a bit of scaffold pole, and it is awesome. So, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.